of us <coughs> a few decades no. since we were in high school, but <laughs> we're beginning a new segment we're calling School Spotlight, highlighting, highlighting the best things about the Chicago area schools. Yes, CBS News Marshall Harris at Homewood Flossmoor High School, where it looked like the students are pumping a little iron this afternoon. Maria, Jim, I, I've, I've been in this situation where you're talking about a few decades ago. It's a few decades ago for me as well. I'm here at the Strength and Conditioning Center along with Adam Bogle, who is the coach here. And uh, you guys are doing a lot. The, the ground is shaking beneath me right now <laughs> because the weights are hitting the floor. Yep. What makes this different from just a typical weight room? Yeah, so what's different from our weight from other weight rooms is that uh, we actually track uh, the velocity of the bar. So we're seeing how fast she moves the bar. And so that's also going to dictate the weight that we use. And then uh, some other things that we're doing is we're making sure everything's individualized, not only by the sport that they play, but also by the things that that athlete might need. Seems like they're getting a lot of support from their fellow student athletes, yeah. if you will. What, what sports use this and uh, how often are they in here? So all 28 sports use this. Um, and so uh, in season, we'll come at least twice a week. Out of season will come at least three times a week. And then we also have about uh, 14 sections that during the day for their P class, their sports come in and lift during the day. When you talk about monitoring all this stuff, is it individual programs for individual athletes or is it by the team? And, and how much of a difference can that make for on the field performance? Yeah, so it's individualized by athletes for the teams that they're in. So there's some uh, uh, lifts and exercises they'll do for each team. And then there's some things that will, that will progress or regress based on what that athlete might need to be better at the sport that they play. What's the, the benefit for these guys? Because it seems like it's not just about the weights themselves, but the camaraderie that's being built. Yeah, yeah. So they do. we want to do a great job of cultivating camaraderie, cultivating a, a culture where athletes feel welcome and they, and they come here to get better. And so they do a great job of cheering each other on. We have leaderboards, record boards, bands that they can earn and dog tags that they can earn so they can show all the hard work that they're putting off the, off the field. Uh, they get a, they had a chance to do that so they can show it on the field. The best athlete you've ever seen come through here. Oh, oh well, we just had Dylan had uh, get drafted uh, number uh, 23 over. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he was pretty. He was a pretty good one. Now a member of the San, uh, San Diego Padres organization. Yes, the outfielder yes. there. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, for absolutely. We've gone through it. We send it back to you in studio, Jim Marie. That's great. We were cheering him on too.